Hey YouTube, today I want to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of Adobe Illustrator and Affinity Designer. We'll start off by taking a look at how these two programs are similar, and then we'll look at the strengths of each program. Whether you choose Illustrator or Designer is purely up to you, but you should know why you're choosing one program over the other. In the world of design, it's no secret that Adobe Illustrator has been an industry standard for decades. But in recent years, Affinity Designer has begun to challenge Illustrator's tight grip on the industry. As a direct competitor to Illustrator, it's not surprising that Affinity Designer shares many of the same tools and features. Both of these programs are perfect for making vector designs. They both have vector shapes, brushes, and the pen tool. Both programs also have a black arrow and a white arrow, which work almost identically. Both programs allow you to easily adjust the corners of objects and work with artboards. Both programs also have robust text tools, allowing you to change text size, font, and spacing. Additionally, they both allow you to place text on a path. Both programs give you a wide array of color options. You can choose any color in RGB or CMYK. You can use swatches, add a fill and stroke to objects, use an eyedropper tool to select colors, and make your own gradients. All of the panels in either program can be moved around, deleted, or have new ones added. Both programs have a layers panel where you can rearrange layers, turn them on and off, group them, make child layers, and change the layer opacity. Both programs have a wide range of export options, including JPEG and PNG. Each program also has more advanced features, like symbols, which allow you to change one instance of a symbol and have that change reflected in all other instances of that symbol. In addition to all of the similarities we've already seen, each one of these programs is available for Mac and PC have regular updates, and they even share many of the same shortcut keys. These two programs are really similar. But now, let's take a look at why you might choose one program over the other by looking at their individual strengths. We'll start off by taking a look at why you might choose Illustrator over Designer. One of the first strengths I noticed in Illustrator is its incredible Shape Builder tool which makes combining complex shapes a breeze. In contrast, Designer has Boolean operations. These work well enough to get the job done, but aren't as convenient as the Shape Builder. Serif, the company that makes Affinity Designer, say they'll come out with some sort of Shape Builder in the future, but for now, this program is limited to the Boolean operations. After switching from Illustrator to Designer, I also miss the ability to trace an image, automatically vectorizing any photo. Currently, Serif is working on adding an image trace feature to Affinity Designer, but for now, Designer really doesn't have a tool that compares to Illustrator's image trace. Another reason some people stick with Illustrator is its ability to work beautifully inside the Adobe ecosystem. If you or your coworkers are deep into an Adobe workflow, it's very convenient to use Illustrator for your designs. Designer is also missing a few other useful features that Illustrator has, like the ability to add multiple strokes to an object, a blend tool, mesh tool, and a knife tool. Fortunately, the Affinity team knows that Designer is missing these useful features, and they've promised to add them for free 
in the next few updates to Affinity Designer. I'll leave a link in the video description to Designer's Roadmap, which outlines all of the improvements that are going to be implemented into Designer in the upcoming months. You can see that the list includes things like mesh tools, a knife tool, multiple effects, fills, and strokes per shape, the ability to convert a pixel selection to a vector shape, and a blend feature. Unfortunately, you'll also notice that this list does not include a shape builder tool, so it might take some more time before Designer implements that particular tool. As an industry standard, it's not surprising that Illustrator has a lot of great tools and features. But now, let's take a look at the strengths of the underdog, Affinity Designer. If you're moving from Illustrator to Affinity Designer, the first thing you'll notice is how quick and speedy it feels. The Affinity team has really focused on only adding high quality features to Designer rather than bloating it with dozens of unnecessary tools. A good representation of Designer's speed is to compare its load time with Illustrator. First, let's load Illustrator. Twelve and a half seconds. Not too bad, but now let's see how Designer does. As you can see, it takes half the time to load Affinity Designer. I know this is a somewhat trivial example, but it's a good representation of the snappiness you'll feel throughout the entire program. Another huge strength of Designer is its pixel persona. If you're coming from the Adobe ecosystem, you can think of the pixel persona as having Photoshop's most useful tools built directly into Illustrator. This saves you the hassle of needing to jump back and forth between two separate programs. If you're someone that does a lot of user interface design, you'll also appreciate designers' constraints, which are tremendous time savers if you need to preview how your design will look like on various screen sizes. This is a great feature that Illustrator should work on implementing into their own software. Designer also has a few other tricks up its sleeve, like the ability to continuously export elements of your design. You can turn on an option so every time you change something in your design, a new version of it will automatically be exported. In Illustrator, you need to re-export your work every time you make any changes. Designer also has an extensive list of pre-made shapes. And Designer comes with a history panel, which allows you to scroll back to any step you've taken in your design workflow. More shapes and a history panel would certainly be welcome additions to Illustrator. However, the number one reason people choose Affinity Designer over Illustrator is its incredible price. The cheapest way you can get Illustrator is to pay Adobe $20 a month forever. That's $240 a year. With Designer, you make a one-time payment of $50 and then get free updates. If you want the best bang for your buck, there's no doubt that Designer is the way to go. To summarize this video, Illustrator currently is more powerful than Designer, but Designer is quickly closing that gap, and in some cases, it has surpassed Illustrator. So whether you choose Illustrator or Designer, it's totally your choice. But if you do choose Designer and want to learn more about it, I'll leave a link in the video description for our complete beginner's guide to this program. You'll learn all of the tools and techniques you need to make the most of Affinity Designer.